Hey what's up guys, Eternal here and today I'll be playing Lux with Electrocute and Lich Bane. Let's go with the answering and E first. And I wanna try something different. It has more burst in closer range, but it's really fun. Basically Lich Bane is like your second passive. It works the same. So I'm gonna still build Ludens and I combine that with Lich Bane. Maybe I even build natural stuff. Just trying something different. Usually I'm playing with Dark Harvest instead of Electrocute. Since it's a melee matchup, it can work better, though this has his E. And you can tell me your thoughts in the comments what do you think about this idea, the build and the gameplay. And if you enjoyed this, you can like and subscribe. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna E when Fizz goes for the last hit like this. Ah, he went with E first. Well, pretty standard on Fizz in such matchup. The brightest light starts as just a spark. Nice. Okay, I see he's running crafting potion. Knowledge illuminates the true path. Oh. Didn't trigger my passive flag. After landing an ability at your enemy, you should always look for an old Hazak. Maximize the trade. Light is but one of many paths. Mm. Sadly he had the range. Maybe I could have done a better flash. Could have played with it a bit longer. Like trying here. Especially because Shako had no flash himself, so maybe could have done better. Anyway, I have managed to get a kill on the gang, so it's fine, one for one. Except Fizz didn't take the kill, so it's in favor. For me. Gold becomes good. Basic economic alchemy. An ally has been slain. A candle in the dark. A beacon to the world. The path is lit. I must choose my destiny. Hey, okay, Emax. Don't let my sunny disposition fool you. Oh, he's a roaming type. I will be a luminous force in the world. Just pay attention to your enemy last hitting, then you know when to cast an ability. <laughs> it was kind of tricky because my auto attack was going in, like it was in the air before I applied E to Fizz. So, probably miscalculated, thinking that I would just apply standard basic attack without the passive. I didn't. I'm gonna build Lich Bane second because for mythic item obviously Ludens Tempest is the best. But it's going to be full burst of course. As a frequent shopper, shouldn't I receive a discount? Light is but one of my weapons. Things get harder at level six because if he manages to ult me. 
it means I'm dead if I don't have flash. And that's why I don't like laning against this. The best thing you can do is to poke early a lot, play aggressively. But later, things are getting harder, okay. Try now. Okay, never mind. Could have done a better E on Soraka. She actually survived, but she had flash before. And that's it. We've got the Drake. Nothing more we can do. Gold is one element everyone respects. Fight the good fight. Odds be damned. Well this playstyle is more Satisfying in close range, like I said before, like when you play Electrocute and Lich Bane. Of course, I enjoy the standard Dark Harvest through Magic Plant build the most. But I like to try different builds from time to time. I know that Lulu is coming, I just didn't want to make it too obvious. And enemy jungler did the right thing of staying mid and pushing. Because normally I would just push if it was too late to impact bot lane. And he has made the comeback on this gank and now he has to kill. The advantage faded away and he's able to 1v1 me now. Defend yourself. And first. <laughs> Even Shaco is there. I'm the new hot names are beautiful from a distance. I hope they wanted to be cremated. You know, it was actually the best thing I could have done. Because in any other scenario, this kill wouldn't happen. So you could say, if I flash this this ultimate, 
I would be much more likely to survive. But actually, it happened in such a way and I got the kill and survived, so... That's the best outcome. I was just patient, like knowing that I have to be patient and kill him at my turret, hoping that I survive and actually I did. Oh, he's roaming a lot. That's what I would do if I played this myself. Extinguish a flame and I'll light another. Ah. At least that, but could have done more if I pressed Saber Road. Out. An enemy has been slain. The flames consume all. Good job, Lulu. I only did that because Lulu was around, else of course I would just go back. That's why I pinked her. That was nicely done. Getting out soon. Perfect. plating will fall soon. No one threatens me. Chaos is what I need. Shut down. Lulu had no shield this time. I don't know. Anyway, let's get leash by now. Face check. Let's wait for Diana. Diana. Okay. He grants vision. Clone, right? It's a clone. No? You have slain an enemy. I'm just getting warmed up. The thing about fire is you can't control it. I can. Stand strong. 
I uh, predicted that. Alright, Soraka, I'm gonna try so too. Target locked. And suddenly. Not this time. I could have waited like one second longer because chances are she would just open the shop. And. Yeah, she would not pay attention for a moment. Would have waited. The one element I was lacking. Be aggressive. Fire flares as quickly as my temper. Um, Arson, such an ugly word. so if you wanted help, why did you go in? I would shield you. Feels like this was setting up the trap. Sadly, there's Soraka and she's messing up my burst. Normally Twitch would just die and she's healing him and I need to waste gold for something like Oblivion Orb. But not just yet. Oh yeah, flashing into someone else is a bad idea. Okay, no, no Drake. Do not make me angry. Oh, this has no ult. Morgana left top lane. I don't like this free to red for Garen. We didn't need her at all costs. Yeah, she had teleports, so if she stayed top just to join the team fight would be better. And storm lags because electrocute. Only the strong can master the storm. Ha! 
Inclement weather shows us who our true friends are. Rolling like thunder. What a waste of flash. This is really sad. Like, we don't need crazy stuff from Morgana. You just outpush your lane and that's it. We should be playing for objectives anyway. <laughs> what was the damage? Blue skies cannot last forever. They have done Baron already. This game had such potential to be better and let's look at this. There's a huge top lane difference, like he's constantly focused on objectives, look at this, he has 3 kills, lots of farm just pushing constantly. You don't need to do crazy stuff as a top laner. So thank you. What? Ah, they are so ahead at this point. It's actually too late. I guess thanks to Strong. Alright, thanks guys for watching. You can tell me in the comments what do you think about the game and the build. And you can like and subscribe as I have many more gameplays. Also, you can check out my stream. And see you next time.